Come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson. Welcome to Jen TV. All right. This is a reading for everyone needs it. I've been um, channeling light language for about 20 minutes and um, this is what came through is to just do a reading for whoever needs it, not a specific sign. If it comes to you, it's uh, meant for you. This might not resonate with all of you, but if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. And you can also purchase them via my website, gentvtarot.com, or if you join my channel. Each has its own perks, but Patreon would probably be the best price. This is a love reading for whoever needs it. Okay. It's a little bit more than a love reading. Are you going to elaborate on that? You'll see the blood here. Okay. Love reading for whoever needs it. How are you doing anyway? Let me know in the comments below. What's done is done. Okay. Bot bottom of the deck there. Seven of Swords in reverse. What's done is done is what I heard as the final card went out. Um. It feels like um, a, quite a long-term relationship um, has finally reached. I'm trying to find the right words because it, it it's like the story's being told. The final chapter of the story's finally been told. This is saying now, whatever has died, metaphorically speaking, I'm not talking about somebody in particular, but like what metaphorically has died, like let's say the end of a relationship, something new is going to grow in that place. That doesn't necessarily mean that's going to be a relationship. This is what you need to know right now. Justice does what it says on the tin. So if you've kind of felt in the past like somebody's behaved badly and kind of gone away with it and you've been left to pick up the pieces, this is kind of saying, well, don't worry. Karma's gonna get them. <laughs> They're gonna get theirs. That's not something you need to worry about. It's too low a vibrational for you, okay? Don't worry about it. You get on with you. You get on with building to a higher frequency. Don't worry about that anymore. That story's been told. Take the high road. What's that saying? It's like you, you you have the moral higher ground here. And it's not something that you need to think about. You just get on with moving forwards. Something new is going to grow in that place. What is it? Well, if we're looking at you later on, it's your own self growth. That's what's coming in. So you're balancing. Justice is coming. The balance of the universe is reasserting itself.
whatever loss that you feel from the end of this relationship, you're moving away from that pretty fast now. So any sadness, any um, grief at the loss of this, you will move past it. It will start to flow away from you. And there'll be a point in your future where you will, you will be able to look back on how you felt in that moment or this moment that you're in now. And, you know, be that stronger person and wish you could go back and give yourself a hug and say, you know, it's going to be all right really soon. It's going to be okay. I would if I could for myself as well. All those things I would tell myself, all those things that you think you need in your life right now is you, you don't. You're going to be just fine. Just fine. And perhaps you're going to tell yourself that. Anything else you need to know right now? This is ending now. That's that's interesting. This uh, whatever is going on, it's going on now, and you're in the uh, aftermath of it. And um, the very soon aftermath, where you're sort of like wandering around, a little bit dazed and confused. You can be all right, and I, I promise you that. Okay, I'm gonna come on in here for a big old hug, and uh, you know. Come on, like, let's, let's have a, and I'll give you a big old hug and say, it's going to be all right, mate. It's going to be fine. And um, big sis Jen here for you. And uh, very soon there's going to be a moment where you feel like you can breathe again. Because right now you feel like somebody real heavy is sitting on your chest. But you're going to be able to breathe again. You're going to be able to sleep again. You're actually going to be able to think straight again. You're just in shock at the moment. And something my mom always said is this too shall pass. There's nothing else to tell you what's going on now. Let's move on into the near future. What are you struggling to move on from though? This is the near future. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, throat chakra, huh? Speaking your truth, there's a struggle here. You are going to be okay. And in the near future, you're going to be okay. You're struggling to move on from this, but this is why I'm here to help you. What you're going through right now, it is going to get better. What you're going through in the near future and, and your struggles, it's going to get better. You can't see how it can get better. Sometimes you just need a magical, myst mystical lady like me to, to come in and say, it's all right, mate. Get yourself a nice cup of tea. Let's play cards. And uh, any decent tarot reader can tell you that I've been through hellfire because you can't read for other people unless you have you have to have walked a mile in someone else's shoes I've been where you are it's a different situation a different scenario but there have been times in my life where I have been afraid and desperate not knowing how I'm going to get through the next minute and that's where you are right now and you are going to get through the next minute and you're going to breathe and you're going to be okay 
I can see that you're going to be okay. There's no dodge cards here, all right? Nothing. I mean, I can see where you are and I can see the pain that you're in. Yeah, but as we move forwards, this is you, okay? You can't even see that. You can't even see the power. You can't even see your own strength. And sometimes when you go through things like this, you shock the pants off yourself at how strong you are because you thought you would crumble. You thought losing this person and their behaviour and the things that they did would break you. It didn't, did it? It hasn't, has it? You're still here. You're struggling to get through the next minute, I know. But you're gonna. Okay. You think that that's what love is now, though. 11, 11, I just saw on the clock. You think that that's what love is now and that's what it's always going to be because that's the pattern that's replayed in your life. You feel like, why should I bother with love? Why should I bother with relationships? They're always people who are emotionally unavailable to me. It never moves forward. I'm stuck in this pattern. You're not. This is just a part of the grieving process and you will. I'm trying to look for a, a, a better term, a phrase, but get over it. You will. I don't want you to think I'm saying get over it because I think I would have kicked someone in the fanny if they'd have said that to me. The English fanny, by the way, not the American one. Yeah, I said it. I said it. <laughs> You're gonna be all right. From what I see, if I could give you some advice on how to get through the next minute, how to get through the next day, how to get through the next week, find something that um, you enjoy. For me, when I was going through this, tarot. This, I had this deck. This is my first ever deck. <laughs> that just came out, true love. Romance of a lifetime. This is my first deck. This was my grandma's deck. And um, I learnt the tarot from this. I had it, I've had this for a long time. I've, I've played around with it with books, I'll show you the best books. This one's brilliant. I have them to hand because um, this is my tarot room. This is the tarot room, so all my tarot stuff's in here. This one's great fortune telling. Uh, Sasha Fenton. This is the the book that pulls no punches. It's like, tells it how it is. The nasty book, I like to call it, but it's a good book. And then this one as well. If you're gonna, if you're gonna get a hobby, get these two books. Modern Witchcraft Book of Terror, Sky Alexander. I'm just showing you that because that's what I picked up. I got a hobby and um, I played around with the cards and got guidance. I wasn't always asking the same questions like, um, when is love coming? You know, I, I, you know, pulled a card of the day. How am I going to get through this? Give me, give me something that's going to help me get through this today. And I'd pull the card and I'd look it up and let's do it now for you. How are you going to get through today? Let's do it for you. How are you going to get through today? And then I'll do it. This is what's going on with you right now. Three of Swords, right? 
And then what I would do is I would take a book, flip to the Three of Swords. That's well, weird, that's actually so almost on the Three of Swords. Now I know what it means, but uh, this is the kind of thing that gave me peace. The upright three signifies separation, severing a connection to someone or someone, something or someone you love. You feel isolated and cut off from something you found meaningful. Yeah, a way of life, your home, a family, a philosophy, a pursuit, a job. Something in your life has died, usually because it has lost its meaning or run its course, and you need to let it go. Things like that I found peace in. You know, it gave me guidance. I wasn't asking when am I going to fall in love? When is this going to change? Sometimes I would. But more like getting a card of the day and asking how I'm going to get through this. And the last line of that is you need to let go. So for you, that would be helpful. Letting go of this. It's been difficult. But this is all showing me that whatever you have lost, something new is going to grow in that place. What you had with this person, it has no future anymore. It's done. This is you. In the near future, this is going to be you. Somewhere amongst all of this, you are going to find your strength. And you are going to fight. And you are going to push through. And you are going to live. And somewhere along the way, you're going to find love with somebody who is strong, independent and kind and so unlike the person who broke your heart, this is someone who's perhaps maybe even a little bit more pipe and slippers. And how comforting is that? Because they weren't, were they? I'm just getting that vibe that this person was always searching for <sighs> what they don't have and when they got what they didn't have they wanted more this person is a little bit more pipe and slippers a little bit more satisfied with their life and that might sound boring to some but that sounds like heaven to me I'm going to read this outcome Now, you may think that the six of wands in reverse is bad. I don't think so. Not in this situation. This not working out has, is, and will be the most transformative event of your life to date. You didn't get what you wanted, which was to be happy with this person. But you didn't get that because it wasn't right for you, because you deserve better. I'm going to read this. <clears throat> I'm going to read this and then I'm going to take it to Extended where I'm going to ask about this past person. How do they really feel about you? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you and some guidance from the universe? But if I were you, I wouldn't watch it. I would let it go. I'm going to make it anyway, in case you want to hear it. But my advice, don't waste your money. If you want to watch it, go to my Patreon, go to my website, or join my channel. But you don't need to. Just let them go. Let's read the outcome here. It's the end of that relationship. My neighbor's dog is barking because she's gone out. It's a puppy and uh, she's gone to the shop. <laughs> and every time she goes out, even for five minutes, let's go get some milk or something from the shop. And the dog's like, oh my God, she's gone. 
you are gonna work this out. You are gonna heal and you are gonna be okay. And I'm Big Sis Jen and I'm here for you. And I wanna know how you're doing, okay? I wanna know how you're doing in the comments below. If you don't wanna write that publicly, go to my Instagram and uh, it's Jen TV or Jen TV Tarot. I've got both and just send me a DM and let me know how you're doing. I'm here for you, okay? You are going to be okay. There's some guidance here. Right? Okay. Prosperity lies ahead. Prosperity doesn't exactly just mean money. It just means you're going to be happy. And prosperous okay that could be with money that could be with happiness that could be with love it could be with friendships whatever it is and your song of the day rough boy by zz top i would say if you're looking for a rough boy, go to Wild Wild West's channel and just check out Jax. Uh, oh, Jax. <sighs> He's like a, a living angel. He's beautiful, handsome, beardy and uh, manly. And uh, that, that'll get you through a few minutes. I, uh, he's, he's one of my favourite people. And uh, this song reminds me of him. Rough Boy by ZZ Top. I'll shoot it to you straight and look you in the eye. So give me just a minute and I'll tell you where I'm a rough boy. Nice. All right. Thanks for joining me. See you later.